All right, I'm at the chicken plant doing some work and I got some good information from the maintenance manager before I got started. He said it cut off on high head pressure and then it started blowing fuses. So chances are we got something going on with that condenser fan. It's loud up here, but let's go take a look. System in high limit. System in high pressure limit lockout. Okay. Is it just me or does that freaking condenser fan look weird? It looks like it's missing missing blades. So I talked to the technician who installed that fan. He had to remove those blades to get it underneath the service factor amp draw it kept on over amping and burning up motors that was his idea to get it under amps and it worked it's a 460 volt unit this fan's been played for a place it is a 460 volt fan Double check with the meter. Dead. 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 It's 490 volt unit. We want to make sure we're dead. All right, check this out. She is burnt to a crisp. what's going on here. It looks like all these wires are taped together. What the hell? Maybe they're wire nutted and then someone just taped them together in a bundle. I'm not sure, but that's certainly our issue. Looks like we got plenty of wire here to play with. Let's get it replaced. Good and tight. 
getting ready to turn this thing back on. Can't even freaking tell if the unit's running because this big son of a bitch here is making so much noise. Alright, we do have a Y and a G call. Our blower's running, pulling almost 4 amps. We have a rapid flash from our LED. Control normal operation. We're in anti-short cycle timer, which is about five minutes. Once that contactor pulls in, we'll see where we're at. We'll know if that motor took any damage or not. All right, we're up to 6.2 amps. Four. This one's at eight. Let's see if we can single out our condenser motor. Point nine. Not bad. Point nine. So we're under one amp. Now remember, this unit's 490 volts. Three point five on the compressor. Four on run. Okay. And complete amperage is eight. Yeah, this shouldn't be pulling anything because this is for our electric heat. Take a look at our fan. Yeah. I did my best to tape up the wire going through here. It's not perfect. It might order the conduit that goes through there when the last technician replaced that motor um, he must have got rid of or broke the conduit and I don't like it pressing up against that that hole there so we'll watch this for a few minutes but I think we're good suction lines good and cold safe to say we're okay and there it is Back operational. All right, guys. Yeah, I got that back up and running. So a little more information about that condenser blade. When the OEM parts for that, the blade is actually a two blade and it's a real sharp, aggressive blade. And I think the technician could not get the blade at the time he replaced it so he went back with a universal blade and a universal motor because he could get those right away and that's a uh, that's a critical area that 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 does it's a it's a lab and so he started the motor and apparently it was over amping and he his idea was well let me remove two of the blades so he drilled out two of the blades and got the amp draw way down and under amps and it's working like that. It looks weird, and it threw me off at first, but it works, and it's a pretty good idea because it works, it's under one amp, and the motor is not over-amping anymore. So, uh, yeah, kind of a, a bizarre situation there with the universal motor, universal blade that was actually over-amping, but um, he had got that straight, uh, I think he said about a year ago he was out there. So, um, unfortunately, those uh, those connectors he put in didn't didn't hold up. But uh, but we got them. We got them straightened out. Got good butt connectors on there. We got them good and solid. So another one done. All right, guys, that's it for this one. So don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll catch you on the next one.